I'm in the outdoor kitchen firing up the oven and out and beyond the far side of the valley, my dad is somewhere hiking in the mountains. We've set ourselves the challenge of delivering a pizza up there. Potential new business venture, hiking spot, wood-fired takeout. And this is the time trial. To get me up there, I'm using this, an all-terrain e-bike, a Cy Russia Ranger, it's called, which I've been putting through its paces on muddy tracks and some steep roads. But today is gonna be the real test to see if this can get me to the top of the mountain. Ugh. And if so, how long it will take and will we have hot pizza to eat? Let's find out. Do I go down the stairs? No. This is the easy bit. Motoring now. This is where the real challenge begins. Uphill from now on. There's about one mile of road and then tracks. Pedal assist on level five, that's top power. I'm skirting around the outside edge of the mountain. Although with pedal assist on full power, as you put the gears quite low, the manual gears, it's not too bad. As long as you've got traction, it's going to be traction that's the issue on the mountain because it's so wet. That's the end of the road now. It's track and grass and mud all the way to the top. Oh, there's a gate. Gates, not good. Don't they know I'm trying to live a pizza up here? It's actually drier than I thought it would be. There's been really heavy rain here. Last, well, whole winter really. So I'm currently at level five pedal assist and standing up to get up the hill. Let's make it. Another gate. 12 minutes. That's pretty slow already. And how long would a typical takeaway delivery be? 10, 15 minutes? There's a way to go yet. Back at level five. Oh, legs are burning. Be a lovely view. Sit down, have some hot pizza. Sadly, I'm not sure that's going to happen. 17 minutes and counting. I can't remember if that's the real top or a full summit. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let's go left. Fun. Uh, back wheel spinning in the mud. Oh, let's go straight up. They don't do this on Uber Eats. My bad. Chose a poor route.
almost there. The last stretch. Oh, there he is. Up there. Twenty four minutes. Yeah. Has this fallen everywhere? Is the question. Probably. Uh, it feels hot. There we go. That's warm, I guess. Time to head down. Delivery complete, and it's freezing up here now. And cliff. Got back in one piece, just in desperate need of a shower now. Absolutely covered in mud. Took about 12 minutes to get down, I think, up to about half the time. So 35 to 40 minute round trip. This is not about to become a pizza channel, by the way. There will be more digging and building things, but I was offered the chance to try out this bike by CyRush and I thought it'd be a good way to test it out. So how did the CyRush Ranger fare? I mean, pretty well, I thought, to be honest. And I've never ridden an e-bike before in my life, so I, I cannot compare this to any other e-bike but I was genuinely quite impressed with the, with the pedal assist up the hills. It did really, really well. On the road particularly, it was obviously very easy. You got good, good traction on the roads. You know, I'm moderately fit, but I don't do a lot of aerobic exercise and I don't even own a bike in a minute. So without the pedal assist, I would really struggle on a, on a steep hill. I couldn't have done that on a regular bike. When I was a teenager, I could, but not, not, not anymore, sadly. Yeah, so the pedal assist was really good. There were a couple of times in the journey where I had to get off the bike and sort of push it a little bit or just reor reorientate myself. But that was really mostly because I chose a poor route in terms of going up, going up a particular bank or a steep bit. The trip on on the computer kept on playing up for some reason. I think the mud and the lack of traction affects the speed sensor, which is on the back by the motor, which it shouldn't do really for an all-terrain bike, because obviously for an all-terrain bike, you're going to be riding on the mud and so on. But occasionally an error code comes up and it, it doesn't tell you how fast you're going and also the tripometer stops working so you don't know how far you've gone the pedal assist still works everything still works fine so it's not really a problem you just don't know how fast you're going but it says 4.5 miles but i think it was probably more like 10 in total and there's 82 percent of battery life left i guess you could probably do three or four round trips probably four i think five will be, will be pushing it but then once you've done four or five round trips if you're doing food delivery you'd have to recharge it for 10 hours so it wouldn't really be cost effective. It took a little bit of getting used to with the fat tires and just the size of the bike. It's a big, big bike. Quite difficult, I found, to, sh to turn quite sharply if you want to turn sharply in, in one direction. It's got quite a big turning circle, I would say, compared to a smaller, a smaller regular bike, a push bike. And it, it does have front and back suspension and the downhill and the bumpy bits, it, it was okay. It was, it was pretty good. The brakes were good. It did a lot of hard braking on some steep hills they, they fared pretty well but overall it's coped pretty well on every surface i've taken it on it is quite fun in urban traffic to try and keep up with the cars from a standing start from a traffic light because you've got that instant electric power if they're in an old ICE car you can actually keep up with them to about 20 and then they they overtake you but and i plan to be using it some more in the summer not on video probably because you know this is not a bike channel just like it's not a pizza channel um but yeah i probably i probably will use it some more take it on some long trips. I might even do like a, a range test in the mountains, just to ride it until it dies, see how, see how well it does. In theory, it's meant to be 56 miles, I think, range. But like, with, like anything electric, same as electric cars, in reality, the real, the real world range is likely to be quite a bit less than that. Well, as I said, the battery power this time around has, has fared pretty well, I would say, given the steep hills. Anyway, that's it for this time. Back to your regular videos next. No more pizza, I promise. <laughs>